Uh, it's actually, <laughs> it's got, uh, like you'd walk out of the bathroom with a piece of toilet paper stuck to your, your pants or something. It's actually stuck in there. Hey, what is going on everybody? Today, I thought I would do a video showing you which one has the best self-empty bin. So this video is not gonna have anything to do with the actual robot vacuum cleaners themselves, but I'm gonna physically put debris in the bins and then tell it to empty itself and we'll see how well they empty each different product. So I got the D-Bot T8 Plus, the Roomba i3 Plus, the Neobot Nemo, the Roomba S9 Plus and the Roomba i7 Plus. So five self-empty bin robots. Uh, the i3 Plus and the i7 Plus, they use the same exact dirt bin. So I'm not gonna put anything in the i7, we'll just use the i3 for this test. So I just grabbed some stuff from around the house that we're gonna put into each bin. We're gonna tell it to empty itself and then we'll see after it empties, which one cleaned out the best which one left stuff in there, and so on and so forth. So I just grabbed some stuff. I got some jelly beans, some nerds, some cotton balls. I'm gonna stuff them full of cotton balls. I think that'd be a good test. And then I'm gonna break up a bunch of these pretzel sticks and shove them in the bins. So this should show us the power of each dirt bin. And then we'll be able to see if, which one, if any, leave the most debris inside of the bin inside the robot. So. So it should be a good little test. Um, I'm gonna do one at a time. So like for instance, I'm gonna fill up the TA Plus with the cotton balls, the I3 and so forth, all with cotton balls. And then I'll hit, hit self empty on the app and it will automatically empty the bins and then we'll open the bins and see what is inside after we tell it to clean. Should be a pretty straightforward, simple test, but it should give you all the info you need on which one's the most powerful and which one to avoid. So my guess, just from looking at them, and it's a couple tests I've done, I think the D-Bot T8 Plus is gonna have the best VIN. That's just my guess. I only ran it a couple times. I think the worst one is gonna be the Neobot. I say that because it looks to be very, very similar to the Procenic M7 Pro that I had. And that thing did not do a very good job cleaning out the bin at all, so. That's just my guess, um, this test will show us. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and we'll start with the easiest thing and then we'll work on to what I think would be the hardest thing for it to clean up. So we're gonna start with just a simple little box of nerds in each one, just one box. And um, we'll see at the end how many nerds are left. So I'm gonna make sure that these bins are completely empty before we do this test. So I'm gonna go down, dump in this box. You know, it's not much candy. If you guys really, really wanna see this in a separate video where I actually fill the bin completely with candy, say I buy like a five pound box of nerds and I completely fill this. I don't know if that'll make a big difference or not, but you know, if, if enough people want to see that, I can do it. The cotton balls, when I get to it, I'm going to stuff them full. Let me dump this in. Okay. There we have one little box of nerds. Plug this back in here. All right, the cool thing I like about the D-Bot is you can leave this lid open and actually watch it clean. Dust emptying initiated. Please wait. See if there's any nerds left. It's like there's literally one, and it was actually it fell behind the uh, filter back here. So one tiny little nerd out of a whole box. That's pretty dang good, obviously. However, I do see there's a couple nerds stuck 
in the port here. I would assume that it would get them later with the next cleanup, I would think. And I don't I don't know if I don't know if I peeked in here before I did that test. That could have been from the initial test that I did. And we'll put a box of nerds in here. All right, once again, this is the i3 plus. So let's go ahead and see how this guy does. All right, let's take a quick look. Quite a, oh wow, I left a lot. So there's probably Probably a fourth or so of the box of nerds. That's that's kind of surprising. I thought I'd get almost all of them. So left that many nerds. Neobot. This one did not do good on the Prusinic M7 Pro. So we'll be able to see kind of if, if they change the design at all on this. So this is 100% empty. I've never even ran this robot. Let's just dump this in. Okay. We got a bin full of nerds. Pop that back in. Dustbin is restored. So this is the same exact design that the Procenic M7 Pro used. It had to back its ass up too. All right, first time using this. Start dust collecting. Dustin is removed. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Yeah. Lots. There's some even like stuck in this. They're like stuck in the door. So yeah, not, not the best suction bin. All right. You think that this S9 being a thousand dollar self emptying bin robot would be the clear winner. But let's find out. Almighty S9, let's see how you did. Ooh, wow, quite a bit, look at that. And yes, I know having a tiny bit of debris in your, your dustbin isn't the end of the world. This is just a simple test to see which one actually has the best suction power out of all of them. And so far, out of the four, this nurse test, the D-Bot absolutely won. All right, so one for the T8 Plus. Now we're going to move on to a little bit bigger and heavier item. We're going to do a box of jelly beans in each one. So while we're here, we might as well go ahead and start with the S9 Plus and work backwards. Make my life a tiny bit easier. So this is just simply one ounce of Jelly Belly. A, little, a lot heavier, a lot bigger. Let's see if that makes any difference on the self-emptying portion of this awesome robot vacuum. Alrighty, let's check it. Ooh, listen to that. None. What a difference. Look at that. Well, one, because it slid up here. Left one jelly bean out of a whole one ounce box. That's not bad. Well, actually, it's actually it's almost perfect, I should say. <laughs> Pretty cool. I didn't expect it to do that well with leaving so many nerds. So good job, S9 Plus. Let's see if the other ones do the same for a heavier item. Got one box. 
has been is restored. It is. Start dust collecting. Dust collecting completed. Possibly do as good as the S9. Dust bin is removed. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. That's got to be at least half the box. This thing, just like the Prusenic, self-empty bin is not very good. Now, everyday cleaning just for dust and pet hair is probably going to do okay. But in these tests so far, it's definitely the loser. So, let's empty these out for now. Let's see if this will do just as good job as the S9 Plus. I don't know. I truly don't know. I would think it would. But I think the layout and the way the S9 Plus sits down in there, I have a feeling it's going to do a better job. But let's find out. Here we go. Shake test. Oh, not as good as the i7. It left quite a few. Let me just dump them out in my hand. Look at that. I3 plus bin is not as good as the S9s. That's quite a bit. I didn't think it was going to leave that many. Huh. Very surprising. That's why we're doing this test. Up in this one. All right, got a whole thing of jelly beans pop that in there pop that in there dust emptying initiated please wait Check out how that guy did. Yep, as I thought from what I could see, there's only one jelly bean that kind of got stuck on the lip there. Yeah, just one jelly bean, not bad at all. Actually tied the S9 Plus on this jelly bean test. So the S9 Plus and this is a tie for first place, both left one. The i3 Plus left quite a bit, which was surprising. All right, next up, I'm going to break up some of these pretzels, and we'll just fill up a little section, and we'll be able to see how well it does with small particles, bigger pieces, and then there's going to be some, like, pretzel dust inside of these ones. Oh, hey, guys. I just made a big mess. If you don't mind, do me a favor, smash that like button and subscribe if you like this video so far. This is actually a ton of work doing each one, one at a time. Um, I wish, wish we could kind of show you the behind the scenes of how we do all these tests and stuff, but it's a ton of work. Um, so I'd really appreciate it if you do me that favor and like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. But we're going to keep going. I'm going to break up some more pretzels and we'll shove this in here and see how it does. All right, we're just going to do a little bit for this test. This should be a little bit, this is going to be an interesting test because these holes are only so big and these pretzels might get stuck a certain way. So I don't know if the suction power might be strong enough to kind of twist them as they're getting stuck, but we'll find out. So here is pretzels in the D-Bot. Dust emptying initiated. Please wait. Pretzels. 
Looks like I, I didn't mean to put in a full pretzel stick, but if that full piece wasn't in there, most likely it was, it would have completely got it. There wasn't like a little, a little bit bigger than half piece left in there. So still a very good job on the pretzels. Next up, we have the I3 plus, which I already put in some half pretzels, broken them up a little bit. Let's see how well this guy does. I would highly assume this is going to get every single one. I'd be really surprised if it doesn't. That was weird. Did you hear the crackling in that? It sounded like the speaker was crackling. Let's right, see. Oh, as you can hear, got 100% of the pretzel. That was a very easy test for this guy. I3, 100% job done. So pretzels should be simple. They're light, they're big, and they should all come out of here. Dustbin is restored. All right, I'll be really surprised if that couldn't get out the pretzels, so let's find out. Dustbin is removed. You can hear it. <laughs> Not a lot by any means, but it just shows you, once again, the Neobots dustbin is the worst out of these three by quite a big margin. Failure. We have the S9 Plus. I expect this to be fully empty, especially when the S3 was able to do it. Wow, that is so weird. Listen, there's lots. Okay, I want to say lots, but there's a lot more than the i3 left. That is very odd. So the i3 was able to get, I think it was all the pretzels. The T8 left one because, I think it was only because I, I put too big of a piece in. Then this one left, I'd say this is probably just as much, if not more, than the Neobot. So very weird. I did not expect that at all when this thing did so good on the other ones, on those jelly beans. So this thing does not very good. It seems for really light objects. And now the final test for this, and I think, I would think this would be the hardest for all these. So I would, I would think some of these are gonna fail. It's possible they're gonna get clogged, which I hope not. I'm gonna use cotton balls. This can simulate, I guess, a dust, bunch of dust bunnies, or maybe even some hair. I'll kind of pull them apart and shove them in there. We'll see how they do. These are, you know, big puff balls, and I think they would have a really Really hard time getting through this little vacuum porthole. So I'm going to kind of pull them apart so that way they're not so thick. Actually, I'm going to pull them apart completely. And then we'll kind of shove them in there, see how they do. So obviously, if I put the whole thick piece, there's no way it's going to be able to get that up in there. So I'll do the same thing with all the other ones. So these are super light and fluffy. I would think, I really would think this is going to suck them all out with no problem. But who knows, that's why we're doing this test. So as you can see, it's pretty much packed in there. Probably shouldn't open this to show you, but let's see. All right, let's set it in. and see how it does with cotton balls. I don't know. Looks like I left a couple. Not bad though. Couple right down at the bottom. But you know what? I think at least this one, I may have, when I opened that up to show you, I think it pinched it. So this one may have been held by, you know, this little gasket. But I think this little part would have at least flown off. So I'm not sure. But we're going to say it left one to two pieces. So not bad though for. Some cotton balls. All right, we got that packed in there pretty good. Looks like more than the Roomba had, but I don't think it is because the Roomba had a 
shove it down in that hole and it more compressed it in there than this looks. This is more just set on top of each other so it's a little bit more fluffy. This was only about eight to 10 of those balls, so. See how this guy does. Dustbin is restored. It is. The dust bag seems to be full. Wow. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know if that got any of it out, to be honest. <laughs> it's actually, <laughs> it's got, uh, like you'd walk out of the bathroom with a piece of toilet paper stuck to your, your pants or something. It's actually stuck in there. That is funny. Charging. That's, I don't, I don't, it may not have gotten anything out. Dustbin is removed. Wow, look at that. So the design of this just forced it all through that little tiny, tiny hole, which is way too small. Look how small this hole is. Look at that, that's tiny. This would not, this is not a good self-empty bin. I mean, look at all that. Well, now I have uh, the setup ready for the i3 at least. I don't have to work too hard to get Dustbin is restored. New cotton balls for that. Holy cow, what a piece of junk. But as you can see, it's pretty full. So I'm very curious to see if this is going to get as good as the S9 did. I really, truly have no clue. I don't know. That was hard to tell. It sounded like it, it sucked out a big chunk of it. So I hope it might have got it all in one quick little suck. Let's find out. Wow, there you go. That proves right there just how freaking terrible this Neobot is. This one got every single piece that was in there. Look at that. Good job. That makes me happy. So the i3 Plus right now is winning this segment. Yeah, that is pretty full. So the dustbin and the S9, I believe, is bigger. This is pretty much jam-packed in there. So we're going to go to stop it. I think that was seven or eight balls of cotton. So I don't know. This design is really good, but I just don't know if it's going to be able to be doing a good job on this cotton. I really don't. Dust emptying initiated. Please wait. <laughs> looks so promising but it just kind of clumped up too big right there I guess and it got kind of stuck in the door as well man it looked like it was all gonna go because it emptied half of it super quick so this one did leave quite a bit of the cotton ball which is kind of surprising Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Which one do you think is the best? And which one do you think is the worst? I don't know which one could possibly be the worst. What do you guys think? Which one is kind of garbage at doing this? <laughs> yeah, I think we all know. But uh, I think that was a good test. Kind of shows you which self-empty bin is good, which one is not which one's subpar. Um, if you could, guys, do me a big favor. Smash that like button and subscribe. This video actually took quite some time to make. And to be honest, it was kind of a pain to do all this. Because each one just wasn't cooperating. The Neobot and the D-Bot had to back off the charger and then go back on so I could self-empty. The Roombas could do it on the charger, so the Roombas were super easy to do. But man, that was that was a lot of work, so please do me that favor. Like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll see you next time.